Punk mode. Or what I like to call it, the mode for people that are sick and tired of saying something that they're gonna do it, but they don't actually do it. Three months ago in May, I made a video about how to have the perfect summer and don't waste the summer on your phone and in the instant gratification activities. I was so motivated to the summer that I will work hard, I will do my best and that I will achieve something big. But guess what? I was the guy that was saying something that he will do it, but actually don't. So I made a fucking change and I hop on monk mode. And without this change in my life, I wouldn't have done the work that I've done in this summer. In the first month, I was lazy, you know, no work. I was watching mostly porn. I was eating junk food and wasn't even exercising. So I did the monk mode. And as you can see, I was pretty successful with that. From the guy that is watching porn, eating shit and doing nothing. To the guy that haven't watched a single porn, a single naked picture for one month straight. I exercised every single day and sometimes even twice a day for more than one hour. I haven't had a single junk food. And my screen time on social media throughout the whole 22 days is about 20 hours. So if you're right now unhappy with yourself, if you want to achieve something bigger, if you want to improve and change in some aspects of your life, then the monk mode is literally for you. So what actually monk mode is? Monk mode is a period of time when you focus on something special, when you focus on your goals, on your behavior, and on what you want to improve or change in life. The purpose of monk mode is to create the period of time in your life when you are focusing on specific things. So it can be the shape of your body, it can be the work, it can be the money you make, it can be your habits, or it can be how you feel, everything you can name on. So when I started, I had the problem with me. I had the problem how I live and how I'm treating my time. So I did my rules to treat the time better and to squeeze the maximum of it. The monk mode should be from three weeks or 21 days to the 90 days maximum. You don't want to have really long period of time and also you don't want to have the short period of time. Because if you have short period of time, then you are not that committed and it's not that big thing if you only focus for one week. And then if you have more than 100 days, then you know, it's third of the whole year and it's really hard for you to stay consistent. And sometimes you just have to enjoy the life, you know, and take off. For that reason, from 21 days to 90 days is the perfect range. My monk mode was for 22 days and I think that's a perfect thing. Now I have like five, six days to rest, you know, before the school will start and then on the first day of the school, I will also hop on the monk mode again. Now, when to start? When is the best possible time for you to start? And I think that the best time for you to start is literally today. Why not? Why not start today? Why waste another day of doing nothing and being unhappy with yourself, with your work you provide, with the money you make, with the habits you have? Why not today? Why not today just change your life overnight. So this is the plan to set up the monk mode. I have three things that are non-negotiable that I have to do and that is in every monk mode I do. And those three things are meditation for 10 minutes, no porn or ejaculation alone, so I'm allowed to have a sex, and then exercise for 30 or more minutes, even if it's a, just a brisk walk in a park, just exercise for 30 or more minutes. And then on this list, you can add one or three more variables. Those things should be the things you want to level up in, you want to change, you want to really be better at. So it can be having a clean diet, your screen time on social media or phone, not playing video games, not drinking alcohol, studying for one hour per day, or it can be the simple things like hugging your mom every single day, talking to strangers, or just being nice. Set the things you want to improve in and you want to see the change in, but have maximum three variables because if you will have 10, 11, 12 things on the list, then you will get lost. You will forget about the one thing, then do, then not do the second, you know? You will get just lost, forget about these things, and you won't do the progress. I think that if you will have this protocol in your PC, it won't be that effective because if you will have it on paper like I did, and I have 
all of my rules and also I have these checkboxes every single day, then it will be more effective because I can see it here, you know, I have it on this fucking board drop, you know, so every time I go to pick my clothes, I see this monk bone. So do it like I did, you know, you have these checkboxes, you have rules, you have monk bone, and then you have the date, and then I have the explanation of why I did not have those checkboxes green. Even though I have five or six X's on my checklist, because I don't need the full checkboxes screen, okay? I just... I'm happy that I literally am not on porn for one month, that I lost 10 kilograms and I'm in the best shape of my life, that I exercised every single day and I started with calisthenics, all those things. I'm just happy about the change and about the progress that I've made, even though I didn't win the monk mode. I didn't have all these checkboxes screen and you should be too. If the red X will appear on your checklist, don't be fucking sad and always remember the reason of the monk mode. The reason of the monk mode is not to have all green checkboxes. The reason and the purpose of the monk mode is to change and improve your life. And my life improved even though I have six axes. So after you will done your first monk moon and you will see the change after those minimum of 21 days, I recommend you the 21 days, no more, no less, then have a week off like I'm having right now and then start even harder monk mode, okay? Because right now I can see that I'm actually able to do this. So why not do it again? You know, the progressive overload. So I will maybe go for 30 days or 28 days, something like that. Just improve every single time. With monk mode, you can build habits. You can build the system of your life. And then suddenly you will become the person that doesn't need monk mode to watch porn. You will just become the person because you right now building the habits in the monk mode because the monk mode is for 21 or more days. And if you will hold this habits for that period of time, then you will suddenly get disciplined out of nowhere. And this is the beautiful thing about the monk mode. Write the date, write the three non-negotiable and add your one or two variables. Then do the checkboxes of 21 days and do the monk mode. Don't be sad that there's some red X's because the reason why you're doing it is not to have this validation like I can show you on my video that, oh, look, you know, I have the screen uh, fucking boxes, you know, I'm so good, I'm disciplined, I'm fucking successful. No, the reason why you have this paper on your wall is to literally change your life. This is the reason and no other else. I want you to send it on my fucking Instagram. You can go down to the description and text me on Instagram. And only this act will just make you more disciplined in the monk mode because when I started my monk mode, I did a video and I posted on the really, really big group that I'm about to do the monk mode and I will show you my results after I end my monk mode. And today, after this video, I will record my video and my results of the monk mode and the people can actually see if I will rather be embarrassed or I will be as a hero because I did the monk mode. So you can be more accountable and more disciplined in the monk mode if you will send me your protocol on Instagram and I will check you I will text you throughout your monk mode to see if you're actually disciplined and if you're staying on the grind on the fucking monk mode and then you can change together with me also if you're in the description scroll a bit down and you have a subscribe button join us join our lion pack in the jungle because here we only improve and get better and if you have some problems I'm here for you if you want to help with something I'm here for you and my videos too so learn don't watch and with that, don't be a zebra, become a lion. And a lion is doing monk mode for himself, not for the green check boxes. Really go down and subscribe, bro. Bye.